This is my fuzzy logic demonstration, and I'm just going to do a voiceover for it because it's pretty hard to understand what's happening without me explaining it, and I didn't want it to be a whole bunch of text. So, this is an entity in his own little world, and he has his own personality, and that's made up of selfishness, laziness, and heroism. And he has all different values within those three uh, personality attributes and they will dictate what he does in certain situations. And so let's get started. So here is an entity in his own little world. He's only interested in keeping himself alive. He does that by eating food and keeping his hunger bar up. Once he's, as long as his hunger is up, he won't lose any health. So he has to make sure that he's got enough food to live. He will go out and collect food when he's hungry, and that is determined by the laziness value that he has, so if he's very lazy he won't go out and collect food very often, but if he isn't lazy he'll go out and get it reasonably like he did there. So that wasn't very interesting, but now we have two entities in the same world, but they have two different personalities, so the pink one is less lazy and less selfish than the red one. So he'll work just the same as he did before on the other one, go out and get his food when he needs it, and then just go back to idly walking around the, other, the world. But the red one, being lazier, will wait until his hunger bar is pretty low before he goes out to get food. But then he's also a lot more selfish, so once he goes to get food, he'll pick it up, he'll eat it, but then he'll collect more. Because he's a selfish person and doesn't care about anyone else in the world. So you can see he's carrying three food. Well, two now, because he's eaten one. But as it, the more selfish you are, the more you'll carry with you, because you just don't care about anyone else. So now we have the two same characters in the same world as before, with the same personality types. The pink one is not selfish and not lazy. The red one is still selfish and lazy. But now, there's no food in the world. So when there's no food in the world and the red one gets hungry, we're going to see what he does. The other one is holding four food, and now he's holding none. And as you can see, the red one just stole all the pink one's food because he's very, very selfish and will do whatever he can to get his food. So here we have the same situation as last time. The pink character has five food and the red character is a little bit more selfish and has less heroism than he did before. So more selfish, less heroism. Last time he stole from the pink character, this time he just kills him and takes all his food and robs him. So let's move on. So here we have an extra character, both the pink guy and the blue guy have 5 food, and the red guy is still not as selfish as he was in the last one, but still selfish enough to steal, and he doesn't have any food, so he's going to need to find some food once his hunger hits that threshold. And so now he's going to try and steal some food from the blue character, and as he does that, the pink character is very heroic, and so he's come to fight the red guy because he has done injustice to the blue one and he's come to his aid and killed the red guy for what he did and now they both just mosey on in their own little world being happy together and that's it so that was my fuzzy logic demo demonstrating an AI thinking for itself using different values for different attributes to determine what actions it would take such as collecting a large amount of food or not collecting a large amount of food based on selfishness when it goes out to get food on, based on laziness then how it acts when there is no food to collect and then what it does if it's attacked or someone el even someone else is attacked so this is just going to be a whole bunch of carnage that doesn't really make much sense <laughs> because there's no food and so they will all just kill each other until there is only one remaining and even he will die so that's my very basic implementation of fuzzy logic I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching